Welcome back to another episode of MotoGP Mech and today we're going to talk about the Gas Gas teammates and what do I expect from them in 2023. So up first we have Polo Spagro who is back from his stint at Honda which in only ways I could really put it was a disaster. You know, he never really sparked into life over there. Never really got to grips with the bike. Now, no one did, to be fair, except Mark. But, you know, it was nearly a suicide mission going over there. And definitely you could see what Polo Spagro was one of the happiest boys at the end of the Valencia test. It had felt like he had come home. And, you know, he said that... The DNA of the KTM hasn't changed in the two years that he's been gone. And maybe that is a little bit worrying. I'm not quite sure. But I do expect Paul to be definitely the team leader within this team. But I think Paul, to have a successful year, needs to be looking at the other KTM riders to see where they are, what are they doing, and comparing himself to them. It's going to be you know, pretty hard and unfair if you were to gauge pole against his his teammate. His teammate is a rookie. Not saying that he's not going to be fast, but at the end of the day, he is still a rookie. But for pole, I think it's going to take him a couple of races just to get his confidence back alone after the disastrous time at Honda. So for the opening races, I don't actually expect a lot out of pole. Um... I do expect him to be leading his teammate in all sessions, all practices, etc. But for Paul, I think, you know, he needs a couple of races to bed in, get back into his groove, find the confidence and go again. But I do see Paul as a top 10 rider, in my honest opinion. Now, Augusto. Now, with Augusto, I think it is a little bit different, I think. For me, when I look at Augusto, he is going to be one of these rookies that have come up because there was no one else there that KTM wanted to sign. And I think with Augusto, he's kind of on a knife edge. Now, Pit Byra has said that he does see it as a long-term project for Augusto Fernandez, but there's something in the back of my mind that says if Acosta turned around for 2024 and said I want to be on the MotoGP grid then I actually think Augusto could and would be a victim of that so for me when I look at it it's a year where Augusto needs to show his metal fast I don't think he has um, a lot of pressure he is the rookie of the year already um, but I think he does need to prove his worth and kind of say he's already battling with Acosta. How can he show how his potential is? I think next year or for 20 for 2023, I think all he needs to look at doing is beating Raul Fernandez. And I think that will be a good enough benchmark maybe to protect him should Acosta want to come to MotoGP next year. Um, and the reason that I'm saying that is he was not far off the lap times that Raul Fernandez was doing on the Aprilia. So I think it will be interesting to watch those two, seeing as Raul just got off the KTM in the previous year. If Augusto has a more in sync work ethic, if he has better results, if he has an all around good feedback. You know, I think he will be listened to. Hervé Pancheral is looking to slow down a bit this year in his day-to-day -day management of the team. He's bringing in a new team manager for the Gas Gas team. You also have Francesco Guidotti, Joe, heading up the KTM front. And I do think a lot of the changes within KTM are now running through Guidotti with Pit Byra overseeing. So... I think the day-to-day -day management and, and the rider management is going to change a lot between what it was and what it is going to be. So I definitely do think there is a good space for Augusto Fernandez to 
to grow in 2023 and show exactly what he can do. I do think he has more chance than Raul Fernandez and Remy Gardner did last year. So it would be interesting to see how that goes. But if I was to put it now, which team they should win at the end of the season, definitely it's going to be Polis Vagro edges out his teammate Augusto Fernandez. But I would definitely love to know your thoughts. Who do you think is going to finish the top gas gas rider in 2023? Definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video. Thank you.